Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Arif, your cloud learning journey partner. In today's video, I'm going to answer one of the most uh, asked questions whenever a person is trying to learn uh, cloud. The question is, uh, should I be really proficient in coding if I want to be a cloud engineer? So in today's video, I'll try my best to answer this question as clearly as I can. And after watching this video, you'll have an exact idea like if you need to learn uh, coding prior to start your cloud journey. So uh, please stick to the end of this video because uh, I'm gonna make sure that uh, all the questions that you have all should be answered in this video. So before we start the video, I just want to talk about myself. Well, I'm Arif. I do have more than nine years of experience in cloud computing and cybersecurity. I hold multiple certification in AWS, Azure, Google Cloud. Besides that, I also hold CI, SSP, and CSSP certifications, which are like kind of like industry standard of cloud security certification. Well, this channel is all about cloud computing, cybersecurity, and IT career tips. So if you are interested in any one of these topics, this channel is definitely for you. I'm going to upload a tons of videos to this topic. So please, please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming contents. So without further delay, let's dive in and get the answer, like whether you need to learn coding prior to start your cloud journey. So at the very beginning of today's video, let's first talk about uh, what is uh, cloud computing and why it's getting more and more popular in nowadays. Well, uh, if we want to define cloud computing, we can say something like that. We do have an application and we want to run it in an infrastructure. In cloud computing setup, we can uh, uh, get all the resources that are needed to run our application and we can pay by, uh, by hourly basis or pay by a monthly basis. So here we don't have to to worry about the backend support everything is managed from the provider side and we can fully focus on our uh, product our application isn't it great and it comes with a lot of uh, benefits like uh, uh, it's uh, highly reliable we can scale up anytime we have a better security posture so everything is better in cloud environment and uh, if we even think about the uh, scenario like during the COVID, it was very hard to maintain a physical infrastructure, physical server room because uh, the world was totally detached. But uh, if a company was in cloud, then they just all just need to do is to pay the provider. So whenever we're talking about cloud providers, we are talking about three major cloud providers. The number one is uh, Amazon Web Service, AWS. Second one is Microsoft Azure. And third one is Google Cloud. So these three are the industry leaders. And uh, if you know these three clouds nowadays, then you are all sorted. So being expert in multi-cloud is the ultimate goal, guys. So whenever we're talking about cloud, there are multiple roles. Cloud has multiple branches. If we talk about uh, roles, the, uh, here are a few roles we can talk about. Cloud has uh, uh, cloud solutions architect, cloud DevOps engineer, cloud sysop administrator, cloud uh, security expert, cloud network expert. So there are multiple roles. And uh, the question could be like, if I want to start my career in cloud, should I really need to know coding? How important it is to know coding uh, when we want to become a IT uh, cloud engineer. So the answer is like, it depends on the role. So for instance, if you want to be a cloud uh, solutions architect, so the whole role of a cloud solutions architect is that to create the blueprint the infrastructure to uh, use multiple services altogether to come up with a solution where you can deploy your application. Here you are focusing more into the reliability part, more into the scaling uh, part, more into the security part. So here, uh, coding is not that much of important unless you're trying to do some automation or you are trying to use some serverless architecture. Whenever we're trying to use some serverless architecture, then we have to do some scripting using any preferred language like uh, Python, Node.js, any one of this. So uh, if you ask me my personal experience, well, I have uh, like nine years of experience in cloud computing. And if you ask me like what percentage of my work really depends on coding whenever I am working for a particular project or uh, when I am uh, appointed for a particular role, well, I can say less than 10%, even less than that. 
So if we really want to come to a conclusion, like if you want to be a cloud uh, uh, solutions architect, then coding is not that much of important. If you want to be a sysop administrator, coding is a little bit important because then you have to create some script because you will do some automation to make your life easier. You have to do some bash script, you have to do, uh, write some codes, and you have to run it under the microservices to do those automations. So then it's important. Even for the DevOps engineer, it's kind of important because you will handle the uh, uh, the infrastructure part, like you will uh, uh, handle the pipelines and stuff. So there you, you should do some sort of automation and scripting thing. So that's important. But if you are solely dependent on the uh, uh, solutions architect or you want to be a cloud security expert or you want to focus on cloud network part well for cloud networking it's mainly focused on the networking part you need to know the subnets you need to know the route tables you need to know how to configure a vpc from scratch so there we don't need that much of a coding knowledge so after all of these years of uh, experience, if I am appointed to hire a cloud uh, engineer, like a fresh graduate cloud engineer, I won't bother that much uh, about the coding part because uh, uh, as a cloud engineer, the main focus should be if the person knows all the services, like the, the thing I'm uh, repeating again, if the person knows about cloud the basics of cloud if the person is proficient in uh, aws azure and google cloud nowadays um, uh, multi-cloud is a big thing so if you know only one cloud that's uh, good but if you know multiple clouds that's even better because in different organization they use a different cloud for their different projects so if you know different uh, uh, cloud uh, providers then uh, you are a very valuable resources uh, and for that reason we really need to focus on uh, learning uh, cloud like multiple cloud the way we should start to learn multiple cloud is like first finish one cloud like very well so for me my starting point was with aws amazon web service i started to learn aws i really loved all the services i got few certification i got hands on experience and after i became proficient in aws then i tried to explore uh, azure and google cloud the good part about uh, all of this is that it's more like learning programming language like if you know c you can easily learn c plus plus because the major difference is the syntax a little bit of change here and there but the core concept is the same so that's the reason please start with one be really really proficient in that one and once you feel yes i'm good i have gathered all the information that i need and i can uh, call myself as kind of like an expert in this particular uh, cloud provider then please move forward and learn the another cloud so uh, that's the thing like if uh, we want to start our career in cloud computing then we shouldn't be like uh, so much thinking that uh, we will do no, no coding we really need to be really good at coding it's good to know it's good to have the skill set but uh, it's not a hard requirement even i still i remember when i was interviewed for uh, amazon and uh, uh, ibm i noticed they didn't even ask like if i know coding that much the, 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 all the questions were like uh, basic questions of cloud computing and the, the core services of different uh, cloud providers so from my experience i can assure you that if you want to be a cloud engineer then this uh, uh, coding and uh, expertise uh, is uh, good to have but it's not a hard requirement guys all right so in this video i tried my best to answer the most uh, asked question about cloud computing is that whether you need to know a coding if you want to become a cloud engineer. I hope you got my point. I try to elaborate as much as I can. Uh, so still, if you have any concern or any question, please uh, let me know under this comment section and I'm gonna reply in a very, very short period of time. If you have any question or concern about anything related to cloud security or even anything related to IT career, 
please let me know and i'm gonna answer you uh and i'll create a video on that um thank you so much guys for watching my videos it means a lot to me our community is growing more and more uh people are joining our community the whole point of uh, this community is to help each other to become a better it professional uh i really appreciate that you are uh, um, you are uh, watching my videos you are spending your valuable time to learn something valuable from me and i really respect that um thank you so much guys for watching my videos and uh, if you found this video helpful please please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming contents so that's all for today have a great and wonderful day